What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nightcast, where you, the subscribers, send us your scary and or supernatural stories, and we read them. Tonight, we got five terrifying paranormal stories for you guys, so let's get started. All right, so Reddit user KindPlenty7437 said, A few weeks ago, I was sitting on the sofa with my wife. We were both on opposite sides of the sofa, when all of the sudden, I felt a hand firmly touch my back. I jumped up and looked over at my wife, who was as white as a sheet. When she calmed down, she told me that she saw a bright light that slightly resembled a hand come down from the ceiling and go down my back. Both my wife and I are skeptics when it comes to paranormal activity. Well, now you're not. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine what I would do if I saw a hand coming down behind me. Yeah, I mean, what would you do? I'd, I'd probably sharp myself. Yeah, knowing you, I think you would shart yourself. You're kind of a pussy. I <laughs> know you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say pussy. <laughs> you can't say the P word. I mean, so yeah, that's scary as hell. I mean, what do you think? Do you think that was a ghost? It was a ghost hand or was it a demon hand? Because I know on the on some of the ghost videos that we do on TikTok, there's people that say ghosts aren't real. And they say that all those things people see are demons. And that sometimes demons can disguise themselves as loved ones who have passed away to try to deceive people. Yeah, I think that's definitely a possibility. I mean, people are going to be a, a lot more open to communicating with something if they think it's a, you know, a lost loved one rather than something terrifying. Chris Stowe wrote into the Shadow Person archives and this is what he had to say. One night in Wisconsin, I woke up at about three-ish and there it was. In the corner of my room, I saw a shadow. It had the shape of a woman, and it had a hood on, and it seemed to be outlined in a dark gray, and I could see the black when it was black in my room. It was floating about six inches off the ground. It was wearing a gown, and it seemed to be staring at me, and breathing deep, as if it was angry. Then, it started to move close to me. I was scared shitless. I could hardly breathe, and I could barely move. I tried to scream, but nothing would come out of my mouth. So I hid under my covers and fell asleep. And when I woke up, I had X's and slashes scratched into my stomach. I didn't see it leave, but I do remember being sore when I woke up. Damn. Whoa. It was a female shadow person that was pissed off. Yeah. This one's interesting for sure because if it is true, he even reported having physical signs showing up on his body as in slashes and scratches on his body he said he could barely move but he said that he managed to hide under the covers yeah at that point i would have ran i hid under the covers yeah this is something similar to what i saw in my room and it actually talked to me and we did a video on that you guys can watch it if you want but i at least told it to go away you know right i didn't hide under the covers and if it didn't go away i mean i would have got up and knocked it out fought the ghost fought the shadow person i mean but what do you think these things are because i mean they seem like uh pretty sinister they give people like really bad feelings when they see them so i mean i i mean i think they could be demons yeah i think it's a possibility and you see like all shadow person encounters i've never heard of a good one i've never heard of a shadow person encounter going good or at least pleasant all right so reddit user under the c1 said I went to the cinema and the movie finished at around 1 p.m. When I returned home, my neighbor was standing outside my house and I asked him how he was doing, to which he said, I am okay, just walking to town, with a big smile on his face. I went inside and shortly after his family member knocks on my door to inform me that my neighbor was found dead on his kitchen floor at 8 a.m. that day. Whoa. So, so, he, was, so he was talking to his ghost, allegedly. Yeah. He's talking to his neighbor's ghost. Yeah, I think that's interesting that the ghost of his neighbor just said, oh, I'm just walking to town. With a big smile on his face. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a demon to me. No. I wonder if he knew that he passed away even, from what it sounds like. This next story is from Reddit user Fried Eggs and Ham, and this is what he had to say. Got lost with a girlfriend at night in Waco, Texas. The roads were deserted, no people, no cars. Then saw one lone person standing on the corner as I made a turn. I heard a friendly male voice in the vehicle, as if sitting in the back seat, say to me, You're going the wrong way. I noticed I was indeed going the wrong way on a one-way street, so I did a U-turn. The road took me directly to the main highway. I asked my girlfriend a bit later if she had heard the voice too, 
and she burst into tears because she had been so freaked out by it, she thought she was going insane or something. Wow. So they both heard a voice in the car when there was nobody else there. I mean, at least, at least, it, was, at least it was helpful to him. Yeah, I mean, it could have saved his life. Yeah, which I have heard stories of people who, who've had their life saved by a voice, like it warned them of something bad that was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting, too. They didn't seem to recognize the voice, so it wasn't like a lost loved one or something. Maybe it was a... Guardian angel. Maybe a guardian angel telling them to turn around because a car was coming. You know, we should do an episode on guardian angels or people who say that they were saved by guardian angels. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories about that. That would be a really good one. Yeah, that'd be interesting if we could look into the topic more, do a video on that. Drop a like if you guys want to see that video. All right, so Reddit user Kuma Man said, I was probably 16 or 17 and had just gotten home from high school. My brother was in the kitchen making a ruckus, so I started that way. As I passed by his bedroom, I saw my mom in there, sitting on his bed with the lights off, facing away from me and towards the wall. I stopped and stood in the doorway and asked if she was okay and what she was doing. She said really slowly, just sitting, come here, I need to talk to you. I took about a half step into the room when I heard my mom yelling for me in the kitchen and then saw her setting the table. I looked back to the bedroom and there was nothing there. I don't think I ever went back into that room by myself again even 10 years later. Wow, that is creepy as hell. Yeah, that's definitely a doppelganger. Yeah. And it was telling him to come here. Who knows what would have happened if he would have listened. Yeah, so we, 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 did some, we did one story in one of our previous videos. Uh, one of the stories was about a doppelganger. And we looked it up and it said that um, seeing a doppelganger, which is a biologically unrelated lookalike of a person, is supposedly a bad omen. Yeah. And there was one Native American myth that we found on this website, and it said that a doppelganger is someone's evil double from the underworld. Or maybe it was a demon. Could have been. Taking the form of his mom, who knows? I mean, that is that is truly creepy, though. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. I hope you guys like the stories. I hope they give you some nightmares. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, YT Nightcast.